uniqueness. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, tell the receptionist you are here to visit the holder of uniqueness. Should the receptionist laugh, then you have failed, for someone has already come here and succeeded. Your only chance now to die painlessly is to kill yourself before anything else gets a chance. However, if the expression on the receptionist's face becomes one of deep sorrow and misery, you mustn't feel pity. Instead, you must laugh at her plight. She will look at you angrily and lead you to a hallway. As you walk into the hallway, you will begin to feel the urge to see your guide's face. Don't ignore this urge. Simply say, I wear no mask, so remove yours. If she keeps walking, pray to any god you think can save you. Your death is coming soon by her hands. If she stops, smiles, and asks you to close your eyes, do so. When you open them, your guide will be gone, and in her place there will be hundreds, if not thousands, of headless figures standing in the hallway, and they will conduct you towards your goal. As you continue your walk down the hall, you will begin to get flashes of the most horrifying aspects of the human world. Corpses, torn apart, unimaginable sexual fetishes, people in the direst of circumstances. As you continue, your guides will begin to laugh, softly at first, but growing into a mad cacophony. To survive this, you must join in. If you can laugh in the face of horror, your guides will stop at a door. As you enter it, announce to them, I knew you'd deliver. You always do. They will bow slightly to you and return down the hallway. In this room, you will see a pastiche of every life that's been ruined out of spite. Every good thing that has ended because of hatred. A man, dressed the same as your guide, but wearing a white mask, will be sitting in the middle, chuckling softly. Ask him one question. Why do they laugh? He will begin to tell you their stories, and why they have no face. He will tell you how the world treated them and that, to escape, they laughed at it. And then, he will tell you how he gave them a face and a name, and how they conquered. After he finishes his story, say, I wish to join the Legion. He will ask you to write your name for him, and he'll give you a slip of paper and a pen. When you're done, he will take the paper and burn it, and the last thing you'll hear before you pass out will be, Expect us. You will wake up in the middle of a large city. You are now part of the Legion, and as proof, in your right hand will be the mask the man was wearing. On the inside is the inscription, Operor non indulgio. Operor non alieno. While you are wearing it, neither you nor anybody else will be able to recall your name or anything else connected with your earthly identity. The mask is object 453 of 538. If you wear it, not even he will know who you are.